Well, hi there, little one. You lost? Why, it's a great big world out here. Far too big for a little sheep boy like yourself to be out here unprotected. So what's the story? Hmm? You lost your herd? Can't find your way back to your farm? Well, what do you mean you can't remember where you came from? Let's get a look at you. Hmm. Oh, that's a mighty big bump on your head there. You must have wandered off and taken a fall or something. Oh, that's fine. My farm's just up this big hill right here, see? We'll get you up there, get you all nice and fixed up, then figure out what we can do, all right? Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Oh, let me put my arm around you so you don't fall over. You look so small. So frail. So weak. Now, I don't mean that as an insult, darling. It's just what you sheep boys are like, I've found. I actually find it quite endearing. You're really quite a cute one, aren't you? Huh. Look, I know this is kind of rude to ask, but could I please feel your wool? You just look so soft, it's driving me crazy. Oh, really? I can? Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, I was right. You're so fluffy. You must be well taken care of. I wonder by who. Well, clearly they can't look after you well enough to keep you from wandering off and getting hurt now, can they? So maybe they're not as good a farmer as you'd think. Ah, oh, here we are. My little old farmhouse. It's nothing special, but it gets the job done, doesn't it? Come on inside, come in, sit down at the table here. Let me show you some good old southern hospitality. I'll tend to your wounds, you poor thing. Let's wash it out first. Try not to squirm, I know. The wound cleaner's gonna sting a little at first, but it'll feel better once it's all clean and patched up, you have my word there. Ah, uh, there we go. Shh, shh, good boy. That's right, we're almost done. And, voila. Well, that doesn't look too shabby now, does it? Let me get you something to drink, little one. You look so parched. Some tea will fix you right up. Nice and sweet. Mm. Huh? You're home. Well, don't you worry about that right now. We'll just have some tea and chat for a while. I don't want you straining that pretty little head of yours anymore. Hmm. So I guess you can't remember much about yourself right now, can you? Hmm. That's all right, dear. Let me tell you a little bit about me then, okay? Who knows? Maybe it'll trigger something. Hmm. What should I say first? Well, I guess I should start with my name now, shouldn't I? You could call me Sherry, hun. I own this property. These acres of land out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Close neighbors miles away, and I don't think any of them have sheep boys. So, darling, I really don't know how you could have got here. But it has to be fate, right? That we met like this? <sighs> yes, I think so. Something led you here to me. Now, I've got a nice farm here. A couple pigs and chickens. Some cowgirls out in the pasture. We even got a dog boy who patrols the area at night. Keeps everyone safe from all those wolves and coyotes. Ah, <sighs> but don't worry. There's, <laughs> there's nothing between me and him. He's a sweet little pup, but he's not my type. Too aggressive for me. Well, I like the softer ones. Sweeter. Oh. Ugh. But anyway, what I mean to say is that we've got it pretty good here. Fresh milk and eggs every morning. No one to bother us. No one to tell us what we can and cannot do. I guess aside from the government, but what they don't know won't hurt them, right? <laughs> uh, well, I guess what I'm getting at here is, 
why don't you stay a while? We could figure out where you came from in due time, but I really think you'll like it here. I think you'll like the people, the animals, the beautiful sky, the lovely little clouds. Oh, the sun bears down so nice on you when you stand out there in the pasture. I will tell you that much for free. <laughs> oh, honey, I really think you'll like it here. In fact, I think you'll like it so much you might just decide to stay for good. I mean, well. You like me so far, right? I made a good first impression, didn't I? Oh, it's just been so long since I've been around a cute little sheep boy like you. And I have to say, I, I hope you don't think this is too inappropriate, but you'd be the perfect addition to my farm. You'd look so cute in that little red barn out there, or... Well, maybe it would be better... If you stayed in here with me for a while, you know, just till you get acclimated. Just till you get used to it. Though, I wouldn't mind having such fine wool to snuggle with every night. Oh, oh what am I saying? <laughs> That's a little too forward of me, isn't it? I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. I can't let you go. You are far too adorable for that, darling. Too sweet with them big ol' eyes of yours. So fluffy. So adorable. So come on. Just stay a while. You can take a nap, rest those heavy eyelids of yours. And when you wake up, well, we'll start the rest of our lives together now, won't we? <laughs> Good boy. I knew you'd see things my way eventually. Even if you're still a little bit uncertain, I'm sure I can take care of that. You have nothing to worry about, sweet boy. I'm going to protect you from here on out. Ah, oh, my sweet little lamb. Hey guys, Nightmare here. Uh, first of all, apologies if my slight southern accent was too unbearable on your ears. I don't know. I just started recording and felt like that voice uh, fit the character. So this is, this is a little bit of a new one. This is my first one, I think, where I'm a human and you are a monster. I thought that would be a fun little way to uh, switch things up, but still get some yandere in there. Kind of a subdued one, but I threw my little hints in there and, um, uh, yeah, I just thought this would be cute, uh, fluffy, no pun intended, sweet little, um, video for you guys to hold you over over the weekend. Um, so yeah, I would like to do my, uh, routine thanking of my patrons on Patreon, CoolKid558, Jacob Marley, Jake C, Chef RD, David Shepard Jr., Papa Sanzer, Flaws, Wadi Hadi Duda, Carefree Ghost, and Solo Taku, and everyone else who is on there either as a paid or a free sub. Um, and everyone who's a free sub on here, everyone who's bought my merch, everyone who's uh, liked my videos, everyone who's commented, everyone who's watched it, you're all just the best. <laughs> I know that sounds sappy, but I really do believe it. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Um, you really seem to enjoy the lioness one. So that was, that was fun. I, I had hoped that you guys would like that one. But um, yeah, on the other side of the fence, we got the lions and we got the lambs. Um, stay tuned for my next January videos. I have a bunch of fun stuff planned and I hope that you guys will, um, enjoy my live stream tomorrow. Um, it's just weird to say because I'm not actually recording this on Friday, but when I'm posting this, it'll be Friday. So come to my live stream, my first live stream. I'll be writing scripts, having you guys help directly out with what you want to see. Um, have Cutie Curator and Priestess Pyra hopefully joining me, so sub to them if you haven't already. I'll leave their links in the description. And um, yeah, I love you guys. See you. Bye. Mwah.